This video is intended to show how a Fujifilm Flenex rubber-based water wash photopolymer plate is made using an ESCO CDI Crystal 4835 and a C-Touch combination processor and exposure unit. Using the C-Touch top drawer, a quick back exposure is accomplished. It is then taken to the ESCO CDI Crystal for loading and then imaging. The extended foot pedal at the bottom front allows the cover of the crystal to open. It also allows opening and closing of the internal clamp on the drum when needed. The cover film is removed from the plate in one movement, gaining access to the black mask layer where exposing an image is accomplished and the cover film is disposed of. The plate is positioned and the foot pedal releases the clamp to position the plate. The pedal is tapped again to close the clamp and secure the head of the plate. The drum is turned manually to wrap the plate in place. Since this plate is smaller than the full drum circumference, it requires taping on the remaining three sides. This is considered a partial plate. Keep in mind, a vacuum also assists with holding the plate on the drum. It's recommended the tape extend all the way around the drum to secure it in place while the drum is rotating during the imaging process. If the plate were full size, it could just be clamped at both the head and tail without any taping required. Full size also allows for faster imaging time. Once all three sides of the plate have been secured with tape, the cover is closed and latched by simply pressing down on the cover. The tape used here is simple electrical tape, which doesn't leave behind any residue. Using the touch screen on the CDI, the file is released to image. The display shows an estimated time for completion. As imaging is ongoing, the light above the touchscreen stays steadily illuminated and flashes to make known the completion of imaging. The foot pedal is released to release the cover and gain access to the ablated plate, showing an image in a negative-like form. An extractor, which is a component of the crystal not seen here, vacuums out all the resulting debris during the ablation process. The tape is removed from all three sides of the plate and disposed of. The plate is then placed on the tray for support while the head clamp is released. Simply running a finger along the clamp helps release any area of the plate that may still adhere to the clamp, allowing easy removal of the plate from the drum. The vacuum helps secure the plate to the drum without the tape during this process. A touch screen selection will stop the vacuum while not in use. The plate is carried to the C-Touch for a main exposure to lock the polymers in place in the top drawer. The platen on the cover above the washout area is released for easy mounting of the plate as seen here. The plate adheres to a sticky back and is burnished to be sure it is secure during the washout period and checked for any air bubbles before the platen swings back to a home position. A menu selection on the control panel will close the cover and the platen will oscillate against brushes for washout for approximately 10 minutes. A water and finished dishwashing soap solution is used. For the 2530 C-Touch, 23 ounces of finished dishwashing soap are used in a 33 gallon water tank. The cover opens automatically at the end of the washout time. The attached hose is used to rinse the plate of any remaining residue. The platen is released to position it for easy removal of the plate and is placed in one of three bottom dryer drawers. An approximate 15 minute dry time will begin. When the dry time is complete, the plate is transferred to another drawer of the C-Touch for post-expose and detac that are accomplished simultaneously, represented by green and gold lights that are lit on the front of the C-Touch. Fujifilm will provide general exposure times and works with the customer to fine tune these settings for specific press conditions. The control panel has simple icons that are programmed to step you through the process. Total time to complete the plate averages around 35 minutes, not including the plate imaging time on the CDI. After the post-expose and detac are done, the plate is then completed and ready for the press room.